All right. Hello, YouTube. Uh, Chris again. We're going to talk about Linux gaming. Um, I've done several videos on Linux gaming. Uh, it's getting better every day. Still got issues. Some things still don't run. But uh, thank God a lot of games do. So if you like EVE Online, which is what I've been playing lately, I took about a two-year break from that game and came back and to be honest, it, it looks really good. I'm I'm surprised at what they've done with it. Uh, my graphics aren't the best. I'm going to update graphics card here in the next, oh, probably week, week and a half. And when I do, I'll be doing a video comparing what it looked like before and what it look like, uh, looks like after. Um, Eve Launcher. Uh, right here is uh, Atar.gz. Um, I'm going to put this in the comments so you don't have to worry about looking at it right now. Uh, just hit this link. This will take you to where you can download the launcher. I'm running this on Linux Mint 18.1 Cinnamon 64-bit Serena. Uh, if you're running 17, the guy on the website here says that it will still run. Uh, they've had success with it on 17 and 18. They've had success under Debian. They've had success uh, under Linux Mint and Ubuntu. They've had success under a couple more distributions. So if you want to play the game and you're sick and tired of going to your Windows Drive to game, uh, it runs it really well. I couldn't believe how well the game actually ran uh, under Linux, which I don't know why I keep being surprised. All my games that I play under Linux run well here. So anyway, um, you download this file. Just unzip it to your home directory and it puts the file right here I actually moved this file into my gaming folder and had an issue where it couldn't find something it didn't want to launch uh, so I moved it back out and I haven't had any issues I don't know why because it's all in the home folder the path should be the same but for some stupid reason it didn't want to run so anyway Eve Launcher the guy has bundled all the uh, QT pass and files and from what I read he has bundled this with a pre-bundled version of wine now I'm not sure how that works uh, or why but anyway he says this this will work um, it may be in the resources or plugins I don't know I haven't looked in those folders yet uh, just the down and dirty uh, running terminal because I want to see errors if they come up and we had a few things that came up let me see where's the terminal uh, QT web engine blah 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 pass not found directories not found um, it looks for steam if you have steam for gaming um, it looks like it couldn't find my uh, Steam, which is fine because I don't have Steam installed. So, ha. Huh. But anyway, run in the terminal. That way you can see what happens. Even though you get these warnings, doesn't mean it won't run. It's just telling you there's an issue. Um, so, all you do is log in, username and password, and this will launch the game. Note that when I installed and ran it for the first time, this blue line here, will start here and it will crawl toward the other side of the screen and until it's all the way over here and this is ready you can't run the game I'm pretty sure that's an update bar or an updater so watch that line it got to about here on me and froze and for some reason this said ready I tried to launch and it did nothing I didn't get an error I didn't get a warning it just did not do anything just stalled out so I closed it out restarted it and the next time that blue line goes all the way to the end it, it was some kind of update error I'm sure uh, but this says ready and this blue line is all the way up it will launch okay I'm gonna keep this video short so for time I'm not gonna show you my username and or password uh, I'm gonna close this out and I'll be right back Alright, 
here is the game uh, EVE Online I've warped to a asteroid field uh, that I have bookmarked and uh, basically uh, I'm a miner uh, I just make big rocks into little rocks all day and then break them down into minerals and go sell them uh, you can move around the game world however you want did they change my mining crystals out Um, the game runs really well um, I haven't had any issues um, the um, the way the the settings are I just turned everything down on low because uh, my graphics card is just rotten it's onboard graphics uh, I'll drop a card in here in the next couple of weeks I'll uh, do a second video showing the difference between what this looks like now and what it's supposed to actually look like this game is beautiful there's a lot of pretty space scenery here you just can't see it uh, this this looks horrible compared to, to, to what it should look like my windows drive ran it a little better only because of the proprietary driver for my video card being installed and with Linux I'm having to use the um, uh, generic uh, AMD driver and right now I think AMD's fault has fell behind too far um, with Linux because they, they stopped support and uh, NVIDIA has caught up uh, and has uh, a good driver out I think there's like five or six different good drivers uh, compared to AMD and when you get to AMD there's like two or three drivers and some of them are not very good at this point they're, they're, it's like having a, a brick for a video card it's just useless um, so I'm gonna do a little testing over the next couple of weeks with a couple of different cards and uh, I'll, I'll try to do a video on that but anyway EVE Online this is what it's about being in space mining there's combat all kind of different things you can do a lot of people like to just explore uh, there's a ton of things to see in this world it's huge the map is literally just there's I don't think in five years you could see it all good just going from place to place I don't know how long it would take you to actually work your way around the map to where you would see everything uh, I'm sure there's people that's been in the game five years and they they haven't seen uh, parts of the map yet it's just it's that the universe is that huge that's what I like about it it makes it a challenge so anyway I'm gonna cut this off and uh, I will be back as soon as I get that updated graphics card and can show you what this is actually supposed to look like on high instead of very low settings YouTube have a good day